I am Amelia, a 32-year-old office worker entangled in the intricate web of familial relationships. My husband, Jack, and I live what seems like an ordinary life, yet beneath the surface, shadows lurk. The source of our turmoil is my relentless mother-in-law, a stern figure who demands a hefty monthly toll of $2,500 from both Jack and me. Her criticisms cut sharp, slicing through my self-esteem, and her demands weigh heavily upon us. One day, driven by curiosity, I stumble upon a shocking revelation hidden within my mother-in-law's mobile phone, a clandestine empire valued at $3 million. The discovery ignites a spark within me. Why does she demand our money when she possesses such immense wealth? I decide to cease the monthly allowances, unwittingly setting off a chain of events that will unravel our lives. Little do I know, this decision will expose a clandestine business and force our family to confront the shadows of deception. As the tale unfolds, suspense thickens, and we embark on a journey into the labyrinth of revenge and relationships. Betrayal echoes, hidden alliances crumble, and financial secrets resonate, hinting at a tumultuous narrative that will test the endurance of love and loyalty. With the revelation of my mother-in-law's hidden empire, our household transforms into a battleground of emotion. Jack grapples with conflicting loyalties, torn between the woman he married and the mother who concealed a web of deceit. As tension simmers, my resolve to unveil the truth solidifies. Determined to confront my mother-in-law, I delve deeper into her clandestine dealings. The three million dollars empire wasn't merely a symbol of financial opulence. It was a testament to the shadows lurking within our seemingly normal family. With each revelation, I uncover her involvement in a secretive business venture with her elusive friend. Armed with evidence, I confront her, the air thickening with tension as I expose her hidden dealings. Instead of remorse or guilt, a cold rage flickers in her eyes. She vehemently denies any wrongdoing, deflecting blame onto me. In her eyes, the web of secrets tightens, and the stage is set for a gripping tale of betrayal and redemption. I, the intruder, disrupted the delicate balance she meticulously crafted. Anger escalated as I decided to cease the monthly allowances. It wasn't just about money anymore. It was a power struggle, a battle for control over our lives. In retaliation, she pressured Jack to divorce me, threatening to unravel the carefully constructed facade of our family. Despite the escalating tension, I stood my ground, unwilling to succumb to her manipulations. Within our household, the strain on our marriage became palpable. Jack faced an ultimatum, torn between his loyalty to me and the familial ties that bound him. Hoping that truth would prevail, I held on, anticipating an unexpected twist. In a shocking turn of events, Jack decided to stand by my side. The revelation of his mother's manipulations shattered his illusions, and he grappled with the realization that the woman he had revered harbored dark secrets. Jack exposed the truth to his mother, forcing her to confront the consequences of her actions. Initially resistant and angered, she begrudgingly admitted her wrongs as the weight of truth bore down upon her. The facade of sternness crumbled, revealing vulnerability beneath. Torn between love for his mother and the betrayal he felt, Jack extended forgiveness, urging her to rectify the damage. In a surprising twist, my mother-in-law apologized, acknowledging the pain she had caused. It was a moment of reconciliation that shattered expectations of vengeance, leaving us all in a state of uneasy truce. The shadows of deceit lifted, but the scars remained, creating an intricate tapestry of forgiveness and fractured trust. As the echoes of the confrontation faded, we grappled with the aftermath attempting to rebuild amidst the ruins of revelations. Little did we know that the journey had only just begun, and the suspense hung thick in the air, hinting at the twists and turns yet to unfold in our quest for redemption. The reconciliation with my mother-in-law brought a fragile peace to our household, but beneath the surface, scars lingered, remnants of a battle fought and truths revealed. Jack and I tried to rebuild our lives, navigating the delicate terrain of forgiveness and trust. However, the aftermath of the confrontation continued to cast its shadow. Despite my mother-in-law's apology, 
a lingering doubt persisted. Could we truly move forward, or was this merely a temporary ceasefire? The unease in our home mirrored the unsettled weather that heralds an impending storm. Days turned into weeks as Jack and I cautiously embraced the semblance of normalcy, yet a nagging question haunted my thoughts. What motivated my mother-in-law's sudden change of heart? The apology felt like a strategic move on the chessboard of familial dynamics. A chance discovery fueled my suspicions while going through some old family documents. I stumbled upon a connection between my mother-in-law's mysterious friend and a series of questionable transactions. The threads of deceit unraveled further, weaving a more intricate tapestry of hidden alliances. Driven by curiosity and a sense of self-preservation, I delved deeper into the web of secrets. The friend, once a shadowy figure on the periphery, emerged as a key player in my mother-in-law's clandestine business. It became apparent that the reconciliation was a facade, a tactical retreat to buy time. As I confronted my mother-in-law with the newfound evidence, her demeanor shifted. Gone was the contrite woman seeking forgiveness. In her place stood a defiant figure unwilling to yield. The apology had been a ruse, a means to deflect suspicion while she recalibrated her plans. A sense of betrayal gripped me as I realized the depth of her deception. The fragile trust we had tentatively rebuilt shattered once again in a chilling revelation. She admitted to orchestrating the entire charade, manipulating emotions to maintain control. The realization fueled a surge of determination within me. No longer content to be a pawn in her game, I sought to expose the truth to the world. With Jack by my side, we unraveled the intricate threads of her deceit, laying bare the intricacies of her hidden empire. The revelation sent shockwaves through our extended family and social circles. The once stern matriarch became a pariah, shunned by those who had blindly followed her lead. However, even in her downfall, she clung to stubborn pride, refusing to acknowledge defeat. As the dust settled, Jack and I faced a crossroads. The quest for justice had exposed the darkest corners of our family, leaving us with a choice to sever ties completely or attempt to rebuild amidst the ruins. The suspense lingered and the journey towards redemption took an unforeseen turn. The aftermath of my mother-in-law's calculated deception left our family fractured, caught in the crossfire of revelations and broken trust. Jack and I grappled with the repercussions, navigating a delicate dance of rebuilding amidst the ruins. As the truth about my mother-in-law's hidden empire unfolded, our extended family recoiled in shock. The once respected matriarch became an outcast abandoned by those who had blindly followed her lead. The social circles that had once revered her now whispered tales of deceit and betrayal. Yet in the midst of her downfall, when my mother-in-law clung to stubborn pride, she refused to acknowledge the gravity of her actions, maintaining a facade of indifference. The aftermath of her exposure brought a chilling realization. The shadows of deceit had not dissipated. They merely lurked, waiting for an opportune moment to resurface. As Jack and I faced the choice of whether to sever ties completely or attempt to rebuild, the echoes of revenge and the pursuit of truth lingered. The wounds inflicted by my mother-in-law's deception ran deep, and the road to redemption seemed elusive amidst the turmoil. A newfound determination welled within me, fueling the journey forward. I longed for closure, not just for myself, but for the sake of our fractured family, the quest for justice became a relentless pursuit, urging us to unravel every thread of deceit woven into our lives. With each revelation, the complexity of my mother-in-law's hidden empire deepened. The mysterious friend, once a shadowy figure, emerged as a central player in the clandestine business. Layers of deception peeled away, exposing a network of alliances and a web of financial intricacies. Confrontations became battlegrounds of emotions as I sought to extract the truth from my mother-in-law's defiant facade. The apology, once a calculated move to deflect suspicion, hung in the air as a testament to the lengths she would go to maintain control. As tension within our family reached its peak, I found solace in Jack's unwavering support. Our bond, 
tested by revelations, strengthened amidst the chaos. Together, we faced the storm that had swept through our lives, determined to weather the aftermath. But the shadows of deceit were not easily dispelled. In the silent moments between confrontations and revelations, a lingering doubt persisted. What other secrets lurked beneath the surface, waiting to be unearthed? The suspense thickened, casting a veil of uncertainty over our attempts at reconciliation. The aftermath of my mother-in-law's exposed empire left palpable tension in our family, an unsettling undercurrent reverberating through our attempts at reconciliation. Jack and I, tethered by the shared ordeal, faced the daunting task of rebuilding amidst the debris of broken trust. My mother-in-law's once stern facade had crumbled, and the social circles that had once hailed her as a matriarch now distanced themselves, leaving her in the isolation of her own making. Amidst this fractured landscape, I continued my relentless pursuit of justice, unraveling the remaining threads of deception that led me to unexpected places. Each revelation further complicated the narrative, pulling us deeper into the labyrinth of deceit. Confrontations with my mother-in-law became battlegrounds of emotion as she clung to remnants of pride that shielded her from the gravity of her actions. The apology she had once offered, a calculated move, now seemed like a feeble attempt to salvage what little remained of her tarnished reputation. As the dust settled on the exposed empire, Jack and I grappled with our own wounds. The trust shattered by revelations became a fragile thread we attempted to mend. Our attempts at rebuilding were marred by persistent shadows of deceit, casting doubt on the sincerity of every gesture. The extended family, still reeling from the shock of betrayal, remained a fractured unit. The rifts ran deep and the scars left by my mother-in-law's actions lingered like an indelible mark. In the silence between conversations, unspoken questions hung in the air, threatening to unravel the delicate balance we attempted to restore amidst the turmoil. A sense of uncertainty prevailed, overshadowing the pursuit of truth, while unveiling the layers of deception had opened wounds that refused to heal. Closure remained elusive, and the road to redemption seemed fraught with obstacles. Yet in the midst of the chaos, a glimmer of hope emerged. Jack and I, united by the shared journey, discovered a resilience that transcended the turmoil. The echoes of revenge and betrayal had not eclipsed the enduring bonds that held our family together, however fragile they may have become. As we navigated the aftermath, the suspense thickened, and the shadows of our past clung to us. A constant reminder that closure was a distant destination and the journey continued veiled in uncertainty. What lay ahead remained unknown, and the pursuit of truth held the promise of either liberation or further entanglement in the intricate web of family secrets. The aftermath of the unveiled secrets hung heavy in the air, casting a pall over our family. Jack and I, united in our resilience, faced the daunting task of rebuilding amidst the lingering echoes of betrayal. The fractures ran deep. But beneath the surface, a fragile hope persevered as we attempted to mend the threads of trust. My mother-in-law remained a solitary figure, and the isolation that enveloped her was a consequence of her own choices, a stark realization of the repercussions of deceit. In her solitude, she confronted the shadows that had once been her allies. The extended family, still grappling with the shockwaves of betrayal, stood at a crossroads. The rifts, Though profound, held the potential for healing, a delicate dance of forgiveness and reconciliation, a journey that demanded introspection and a willingness to let go of the past. Our attempts at rebuilding were punctuated by moments of uncertainty. The pursuit of truth, while liberating, had left scars that refused to fade, and closure remained elusive as ever, beckoning on the distant horizon, a destination we approached with cautious optimism. In the midst of the tumult, unexpected alliances emerged. The shared ordeal became a crucible that forged new connections, binding our family in a tapestry of resilience. The shadows of deceit, though not entirely dispelled, no longer held dominion over our lives as we stood on the precipice of a new chapter. The suspense thickened, and the journey, fraught with twists and turns, had transformed us. 
The pursuit of justice had unearthed hidden facets of our family, but it had also paved the way for redemption. The final confrontation with my mother-in-law became a moment of reckoning. Stripped of the pride that once shielded her, she faced the consequences of her actions. In a surprising twist, a glimmer of remorse flickered in her eyes. The acknowledgement of wrongdoing, however belated, marked a crucial step towards healing. In the quiet moments that followed, the extended family grappled with forgiveness. The choice to move forward, while challenging, held the promise of a renewed bond. The shadows of deceit, once menacing, now served as a reminder of the resilience that emerged from the chaos. As Jack and I reflected on the journey, we discovered newfound strength in our relationship. The shared adversity had deepened our connection, transforming the fractures into a mosaic of shared experiences. The pursuit of truth had not only exposed the darkness, but had also illuminated the path towards renewal. The story, marked by revenge, betrayal, and redemption, reached its conclusion. The echoes of the past lingered, but the family, scarred yet resilient, embraced the uncertainty of the future. Closure, the elusive, was no longer the sole destination. The journey, with its twists and turns, had become the essence of our story, a narrative of transformation and the enduring power of familial bonds. And so, we stepped into the unknown, our hearts tempered by the shadows of the past, but with a flicker of hope guiding us toward an uncertain yet promising horizon.